Hi, I'm Admiral. In this video, I'll be... Well, it's exactly what the title says. I'll be playing Honkai Star Rail for the first time because my older sister demands it. You see, she's been playing Star Rail pretty much since the game came out, and she's been recommending it to me ever since. Between my love of JRPGs, especially my recent enjoyment of Persona 5 Royal and 3 Reload, and my enjoyment of gacha games like Fire Emblem Heroes and, on sheer technicality, MLB The Show, she's always felt that Star Rail is right up my alley. Plus, the roguelike simulated universe game mode tickles the Risk of Rain 2 shaped portions of my brain. And so, right before Dr. Ratio is no longer a free claimable 5 star, I decided to give it a go to see how well she knows me and whether or not it's as fantastic of a game as she always says. We're back here again at the Silly Goose it's train. Supposed to... Excuse you, that is the Astral Express, but everyone on it is a Silly Goose. So, you know. For those of you I at home, I call, I call it a goose train because honk, I star rail. Oh my god. Boo! Tomato, tomato. If you're watching this, drop some to tomato emojis in the comments. I'm clicking and nothing is happening. Yeah, because it, the Astro Express is supposed to take off. This is not working the way it's supposed to. <laughs> Good. Like, there's gonna be a screen that says click to enter or something. The scuff is working as intended. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> me, personally, this has never happened to me. You might want to run this one as an administrator, too. I'm gonna... First, I'm gonna pin this to my taskbar. <laughs> then I'm gonna close it. Hey. Ingar. Told you told you it would say click to start. Yeah. Or click to enter. Or <laughs> I, I believed you. <laughs> Alright, we should be past the scuff question mark. Oh. Alright, we're in a black screen. Good. Ooh, your new UID. I know. I'm so cool. You're gonna add me when you get when you unlock the um friends function it is so weird seeing the pentacony like loading screen fact for a new account because some of these things have spoilers in them <laughs> oh cool that's delightful isn't it Ooh, the, fuck, the asteroid to close up fuck, oh my god there she is <laughs> little transition and oh my god. The classy man's air guitar. Literally Kafka. Like, she has an idol that does this too. And they used, um, Vivaldi's Spring in her character trailer. Oh. That's what it sounds like. I mean, this isn't Spring. This is Pachelbel's canon, I think. That's what it is. Yeah, no, you're right. Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you come at a time bit better. Twenty three forty seven fifteen fifteen ten. Then pass you a cup cup. Oh, thank you. Mm, really, always hunting Jack's future. So what's with the explosion? Is that her now? Dark Souls boss title? Stellar on Hunter. What do you... Um, so, this, like, mini text above the character name is the faction they're a part of. Uh, Elio, Kafka, and the person she's talking to. I... Do you remember who she's talking to? Because I know you watched, the, watched this whole beginning cutscene when... Um, Chibidoki streamed it, yeah, when the game came yes. out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Silverwolf, yeah? It is Silverwolf. Yeah, okay, they're cool. all Stellar on Hunters. Okay. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you anything else about them right now, but there's a there's a lot happening. I see. Oh. All right. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio, did he say anything about it? <laughs> Fighting the Legion? What is this? Fallout New Vegas? That's a joke for my benefit. Even then, I'm sure. 
at least half the dev team has played Fallout New Vegas, and if they haven't, the localization team has. Mother is about to serve. Why would it matter? May as well kill them all. All right. This won't take long. She's got a sword and two Uzis. She's cracked. Yeah. Didn't hurt. She uses the guns in her ult. Cool. She's so fun to play with. I won my first fight. I'm goaded. Truly the greatest star player of all time. <laughs> and then dash right past the control panel. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> Why did it give me that camera angle? I felt like I was looking up her skirt and I was like, I'm uncomfortable now. Um, low key. Well, she's wearing shorts, but low yeah. key. I would not be surprised if that was intentional by Hoyo. The way people go absolutely feral for this woman, I'm sure it has made them millions of dollars. Yeah, sounds right. And I guess this is to jump in. Yeah. I was already left clicking because, like, I guess this is how I jump in, and I was right. Okay, you can all at any time in this game. Spread. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Oh well, yeah, sure enough, she's blasting. Mm. So good. Right, here comes the gamer to game. You know, cocktail. To queen herself. Fancy technique of yours, as usual. Is Silver Wolf short or is Kafka tall? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair play. Can I suggest a little <laughs> trick of tampering with the data of reality? I wouldn't call it fancy. I think Kafka has a tall adult female model. Um, but I think she's actually still shorter than the female trailblazer, because the female trailblazer has like I think like some kind of like feminized model of the male trailblazer, mm -hmm. um, and Silver Wolf definitely has like a short girl model. I forgot what the fuck Hoyo calls it. Just now. Let me play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Uh, the joys of my room. You always hear the dogs barking. Oh, I can hear them too. It's okay. Uh, that's where the stellar on is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I see. It's specifically about their name in the text and refers to the character mentioned. Except <laughs> I... the stellar is not a character. But, it, yeah, it provides more information about whatever word it's above. That's cool. So some of them are, like, people, and it'll tell you their faction. Or, like, when you get to the Lafu, they have, like, special names for all, like, the gods in the game. So it'll tell you, like, which eon they're referring to and their fancy lafu language and all that kind of stuff yeah. so the stellaron is also called the cancer of all wor worlds that's fun that's uh, why they do it for a little bit of context for, for those of you trying trying to watch uh that shit is why i stream exclusively late at night when everyone else is in bed so i don't have to deal with that shit while i'm trying to stream because the dog's barking is constant especially that little they're guy. very happy Everyone in this family is a yapper, but those the, wow. dogs, the dogs especially. <laughs> I I include myself. What in did that. I do? I don't shut up. Now why am I in it? Remember yesterday when you were in photo about that star mail? <laughs> so anyway, Silver Wolf said that's where we can find out where the cellar on is. Uh, yeah, down the hall to the left. I'd take a sip of water. Uh, hmm. Oh, join the team temporarily. Hooray. 
Treasure, you say? Swag. On God, we're gonna get you a quiet keyboard, bro. <laughs> I. It does not sound out loud to me. I think the problem is that since my mic, the bass, and everything are on the desk alongside my keyboard, it doesn't sound that loud to me. But people hear it through the vibrations shot up into the microphone. I think. On that's God, we're gonna get you a mic arm, bro. Oh, hey, the level three. You're going to want to open with... Kafka. Oh, shit. No, Silver Wolf, because okay. he has quantum weakness. Do you want me to backseat you? Uh, don't matter me. Like, do you want me to, like, teach you how to play the game? I, You know what? I never thought about the concept of me being here when I s suggested this. <laughs> Can you let me have yeah, these things time? happen. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> she oh turned into God, a I... rhythm game. That's crazy. <laughs> Playing Hatsune Miku colorful. <laughs> Hatsune Miku colorful stage about. in the middle of combat is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the animations of this game are so fucking good. I cannot wait for you to get your ratio and witness him throwing chalk at people. <laughs> This looks more like a server rack than a terminal. I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. I don't know if they thought about that. <laughs> Fair enough. Classic. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool at least. There's no yeah. reason trying to search like this. Like this is so sci-fi. So, got a map. Interact with the curio to unravel the secret in the monitoring room. You got it, boss. What's this? Item number 211, Blind Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. Huh? <laughs> Let me read this again. Yeah, hold on. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed. Ah, but if it did, so... If one object is in the light deflecting field, it disappears. But if another, if a second object enters the field, the first object gets revealed. Oh. I don't All know right. why they wrote it like that. That's so much <laughs> more confusing than what it should be. I, I did have to reread that one. Yeah. Yeah. The game is full of shit like that, especially when you get to Pentacony. So be prepared to do some thinking. Some literary analysis. Can't wait to run it back on the dialogue. <laughs> That's gonna be the hardest boss. <laughs> Man, I forgot how cool some of these things in the beginning of the game are. Yeah, whoa. I Getting haven't clicked like, this scene was I trippy. played. Oh shit. Oh, you can do all oh, of this. Oh, I didn't do that when I that's fucking cool imagine not having that's intellectual cool curiosity about the game <laughs> sorry that's not fair that's not fair yes okay so you're gonna be trash raccoon ain't a thought behind those eyes lights on nobody's home stell or golden retriever boy yuji itadori i gotta go penny kayla's <laughs> There we go. And this is how Kafka births us. Oh, I thought you were being silly when you called her mother. No, she is also our mother. <laughs> she, literally and figuratively. She is our mother. <laughs> she is raccoon mother. Ask this question. Space station, but that's not important. Listen, you are in a daze right now. Yellow tax. You don't know who you are, yeah. why you're here, or what you're going to do next. 
You think I look familiar, oh. but you're not sure if you should trust me. She's fucking with my head. None of that she matters. sure as shit is! All you need to know my not she used a word of power on me. You will be left all <laughs> That's crazy! Yellow text! Yeah, From now on, you need to think yeah about that's exactly what it is. When she says listen in yellow text, that's exactly what it is. Damn. Listen. Oh, you, there it is again. You will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. Maybe you'll meet companions. She's word of powered me into the gotcha mechanic. I can't believe this. Embark <laughs> on surreal adventures with them at the end of your journey. All that perplexity. That was Silver Wolf's request. She said, You will pull. <laughs> future that Elio has for Fane. Do you like it? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. Trailblazers. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. The references to the script are reminding me of that one bit in Bluey where Bandit walks in and says out loud, Dad <laughs> enters the room, which is just Dave McCormick accidentally reading the stage directions. <laughs> I don't know why it's giving me the exact same vibe. How did you know that? Where did you see that? You don't know your bluey lore? No, apparently I do not. Apparently I'm a fake fan. <laughs> I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you. She didn't say the word. Soon. Just go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. And won't remember a thing they said to me. Sometimes they add things to the text after they finalize all the voice recordings. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. When you have a chance to make a choice. Make one that you know you won't regret. Did she word of power me out of safe scumming? I hate it here. <laughs> also, I didn't know that there was a little rabbit mascot. Uh, mascot. Oh, wait till you meet Pom Pom. Oh. Here's your girl. Hey! Hey, okay, hungry! Oh. I've also never seen this with a male trailblazer. I've never seen this with Kalos right. instead of Stell. Can you hear me? I got you, dog. Do you I'm here to provide. The word of power worked. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your Mark. name. Hell yeah! It's your boy. Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the anti matter beings. We came to help with the rescue. <laughs> March nodding along, like, yeah, it's true. Because <laughs> that'll convince him. <laughs> the internet has done irreparable damage to my brain. <laughs> Emanator of Destruction. That is a Soulsborne boss title. That is exactly what they are. We'll like, that is the Star Rail equivalent, for worry. sure. Uh huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Huda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. Decorally I know what you are, March. <laughs> You're a girl kisser. She says it. She says shit like that so often. <laughs> Back to the master control room. Ask them the other researchers have gathered. And once I get there, everybody's gonna be like, we don't know this dude. <laughs> Where the fuck did you find him? Literally the stray raccoon they drag back onto the Astral Express. <laughs> Heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. 
do not try to flex on the main character. Don't you try to flex on me. Babe, we started this conversation with me saying I don't remember anything. I ju I only know my name. What do you mean this you've never seen it? What are talking about? What are you doing? This is Marge we're talking about. Is that her character? She she can be a little ditzy, I think. Oh, that's all right. Or a little like no filter. She she gets a pass. Like, she just says whatever pops into her head. I understand that feeling. So, yeah, she's not ditzy. She just says whatever she's thinking. And doesn't think about whether it's appropriate. Oh, she's well, there's Daniel, gun. and then cool there, Daniel. Oh, your baseball bat. Oh my god, it's just like MLB The Show 24. I thought there was going to be a purse owner reference in there, and then you referenced an MLB game? Fake gamer? It's a baseball bat. Admiral's a physical type character. Path of Destruction? That's kind of raw. <laughs> like her character portrait. She's so cute. Preservation. What does this do? Powerful defensive abilities. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so preservation is usually shielders or damage mitigators. So March has a shield in her kit. Yeah, she's pretty fast. Ice damage. Cool. The power of cuteness. Fair enough. Yeah. Her, she's so cute in battle. She does have a very cute vibe. I will, I will say that much right now. You can also, because her ultimate freezes, not to just give you build advice before you can even build anyone, um, freeze bot march is viable end game. Ooh. Like, she, oh, I even though she's up the that. first character you get, yeah. She's the first character you get aside from the Trailblazer, and like sh you can still easily play her in endgame content. Hey, this is the pistol they were talking about. This thing has so many fun Easter eggs. Because it, it will give you different ratings depending on what active character is in your party. 84 points. Well, now I've got to say what it gives March 7th. Invalid. It's it just make said you're not relevant. That's gonna make sense when you learn more about Marge. Oh. Bonk. Oh. You're just an archer. Yeah. My turn. Uh, what are your weaknesses? I'll do this real quick. Ah, oh, thanks, Marsh. Okay, something about her shield is that it increases time. So you're more likely to get hit if you have March's shield on. Oh, that's cool. But if you are hit while you have her shield on, she launches a follow-up. Which I think is what just happened, yeah. Yeah. Alright. I was hoping that would just kill. It did not. That's fine. You have skill points, dude. Oh, yeah. You only have two party members. Let's see what my skill is If you have more than one enemy on the field, it'll blast. It's blast damage, so it'll hit three of them. That's cool. So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? I imagine I'll take three steps and figure it out. <laughs> I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? I don't know. <laughs> We, that was the first thing I said, March. She just she just assumed that you worked there. Lock in March seventh. I'm begging you. She's like this person clearly is an avoid ranger. Oh, 
Hmm, must be the space station. Let's go. I'll take you to the Thank you, March 7th. Very cool. Yeah. I'm coming in, bitch. Yeah, you doubt you don't want <laughs> you wanna attack it before it attacks you, obviously, but like yeah. That's it. It's not I will say I feel like it's faster in persona between when they notice you and when they actually ambush you. I get ambushed in persona Let's go. every time I play. Unfortunate. Uh you I'm going to bonk you and your boy. Yeah, get bonked. Get bonked. <laughs> that weakness stamp break damage. Yeah, March is. Never mind, I was about to say March is gonna finish him off. No. You can't run. But you fellers are gonna be in a bad way. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this. Let's make that weakness quick. break damage. That was good. You have both alts, by the way. Oh. My turn. Gotta try hard sometimes. Well, let's see what happens. That's Pop very, That's very silly. <laughs> this game is so unserious. I love it. Let's see what. Oh, Stardust Ace is crazy. He says that so much more intensely than Stell does. <laughs> She's like, rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Kayla's is going full shonen action hero. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Well, that's fun. All right, what are you Okay, Don Hong does win damage. Yeah. Cool, which means right there while I get your present. Hit myself. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And you're weak to Yo, oh, you both are weak to this. So I'm going to double up. At break damage, we love to see it. Step aside. I have no interest in still. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's make it quick. I should be able to get the double. Never mind. Oh. And he, uh, he took. <laughs> he, he was smart. You couldn't have done ah. That. Um, when you break their shield, um, or an enemy's shield, they get inflict inflicted with break, bleed, wind shear, uh, shock, or burn, depending on your character's element. Or they get frozen if they're, um, ice. an ice character. Yeah, like March. That's why March can freeze. She freezes on break. March, lock in. <laughs> March. I can tell I'm going to love her. She's so silly. She's the best. And the, be the best part is she happens to be named after your birthday. Like, yeah, like, what I'm a so glad you love her. Uh, oh. I should oh, oh, attack from here. Strike the weak. And it's ice weak, so yeah. it breaks shields. Yeah, that's why one of the reasons I switched to March. The time is now. Sly. See, look at you. You, have the worst luck running into you know this game inside and out now. Easy. Bonk. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Larry ran up and smashed him in the back of the skull with a baseball bat. Never heard of it. Just Honkai Star Rail thing. Oh. Let's go. Okay, March and Don Hong have their alts. And you're about to get Kalos's. Or physical Bonk. trailblazers. Hooray. All right, you have all three alts. Uh, I can probably just... Why not? <laughs> Why not? I actually think this will break both of them and end the battle.
There yep, go. yep. I was supposed to say blast damage is three characters. Yeah. Is that easy to anything I can do? Yeah. Oh, there we go. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary. This oh, that's kind of raw. This sanctuary is butter vision. Ugh, that is an old Star Rail meme. Butter vision. <laughs> I like how happy she is when she pulls out the arrow. Like, yo, check this out, dude. Let's go, freeze bot march. Hell yeah. Fuck. Easy. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Oh, man. Oh. Bro's out here saving lives. And by lives, I mean my life. From a centaur. Oh, I forgot how sick that thing looked when it beat you up the first time. <laughs> what is this? Two times speed is worth it. Might as well check out what the skill is. Got kicked in the head. Love it. How good is the battle music? With me out here, how can we lose? It's banging. It's really fun to look at your character menu when you unlock simulated universe and get um like the craziest fucking buffs because it's a roguelite. And then you go and check your crit damage, and it's like in the thousands. So sure. anyway, oh, you want to break this guy's shield expeditiously? Yeah, you want... Yes, before he can take his turn. Hmm. Oh well, they're all weak, so I'm just gonna bonk them all. How about this? Try that again. Just... You have all. So I do. One day I'll learn to, to pay attention to that <laughs> more closely. Because that's why it's... Like, the fact that you want to break his shield before he takes his turn... Um, that's... That's part of why being able to ult at any time is... Like, you definitely want to pay attention to it and keep track of it. Um because if you can like break fast enough, he wouldn't have taken that shot at Trailblazer. Right. Bonk. That was not coherent. But yeah, pay attention to the turn order and see how fast you can break your shield, essentially. You hmm. tell him, March. Hello, Mark. Revision. Yeah, this will break. Or better. It will. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, there's no shot it doesn't. But also, I've been you can fooled see if before. it'll break. Speaking of breaking, I should be able to break his knees with this. Because rules were made to be broken. Oh, that's even better. Ah, oh, that's a funnier joke for speaking of breaking. Damn it. Up oh, and there's the wind proc. I'm goaded. Thunder that time? I don't know. I don't listen this that closely. I mean, they're gonna jump us. Let's go, Hiva, go! Oh, let's go, mother! Yeah, I was gonna say, I think that was Himiko. Anyway, at least you're back. <coughs> Mother. <coughs> yeah, definitely. Oof. Yeah, Mario, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder. 
Lord have mercy. It gets even better from here. <laughs> You can do it, March. Don't worry. Words. My orbital cannon seemed to be able to hold bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. Orbital cannon. When I say mother is mothering, obviously worried about you. There's a joke I want to make, but I don't know if I'm allowed to make I'm it. I'm uh, Quick catching up will do. <laughs> Navigator of the Astro Express. Oh, cool. She's a navigator. <laughs> navigator? I hardly know her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> in other words, he's in charge of where the express goes. March hasn't March. Any trouble for you along the way, has she? <laughs> nah, she's goaded. Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. <laughs> Dude, bro's like, I see you sucking up. He's like, we both know that's not true. Actually, we don't. I don't remember anything. We've established this. Lock in, Don Hung. <laughs> I you know March wasn't just yapping. Asta is very cute. She really is. And strong and endgame. Thank you. Oh. In the eyes of disaster. Like you're gonna get Asta for free at some point during this part of the story. And like she is one hundred percent worth building. Like of any of the early characters you get, Asta is one hundred percent worth building. Poggers. She's awesome. She um, basically speeds up your whole team pretty significantly Ooh. and that? increases attack. Ooh. We got the uh, JRPG Protag design with several belts for no reason. Just notice that. <laughs> oh, Don's got it too. Don Hog has them too. Even March has a couple. Yeah. Hey. Ah, uh, this is the gotcha mechanic. Hooray. Watch, I'm gonna pull five stars. So you start Gamba early. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pulling a five star. Check it. Um. Okay. <laughs> that is a four star. Oh, hey. It's Asta. Uh, it was rigged the whole time. They were always going to give you Asta. <laughs> That's fine. I know I like Asta, at least. I'm telling you, like, you, like, she's someone you definitely want to build. She's a buffer. That's cool. But there's a departure warp that gives you a um, guaranteed five star within 50 pulls or something. That's cool. Should be no problem. Lord Ravager, Jesus. But we can't just run away like this, right? I'm with them. I want to fight. Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield by tearing it open. And Herta's not here. I want to throw hands. The station's defenses I'm here to save lives, baby. I got a baseball bat and everything. <laughs> Either way. A certified SWATA. The they came prepared. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? He's that important. I am. Also, no one has a no one <laughs> no one has acknowledged the fact that I don't work here. <laughs> like Asa didn't say. Because Kimiko yeah. knows. He's the one who can help. I think. Of course, I may be wrong. Okay, so she thinks. As you say so. Mr. Yang's here too. Shouldn't we stay on the express? Clearly not. The Astro Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movement, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. 
Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the team taking it. But if the destruction emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Really? We had all this time to yap about welts, but the moment I ask for, like, critical information, you're like, nah. Nah, that's for later, buddy. Don't you even worry. What are you weak to? Me. That is what you're weak to. You're weak to me. Alright. That's cool. Alright. In that case, I'm gonna accumulate some weakness break. You have to break their shield completely to get a stack. I see. I see. Nice. You won't get away. I have something handy for you. and also dandy. Are you still playing in slow-mo? He's standard speed, yes. Two yeah. times speed is worth it. They are jumping on no I have no Told you I could fight. Hey. Hooray. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? With our feet? Did March 7th deserve all that sass? No. Well, she does ask questions like that, so. <laughs> Very silly questions. You notice you have an ult this time. Yeah, it, it's we're learning. I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. That's the word. The truth of life and death. <laughs> Actually, in an instant. Can I cancel this. All on the one. No, you cannot cancel. All right. Well. I impulsively did it. I'll impulsively watch the uh, animation. <laughs> A butter vision. Oh, wait. Let me get that chest then. I thought that chest was on the way. But how wrong no, I it was. it is not. And there are breakables in that area, too, that you just... Yep. You can break the purple thing too, yeah. Hooray. Those benches on the space station used to trip me up all the time. Because I would see the blue light and be like, ooh, a chest. That thing was on a chest. Oh, I pressed E to interact instead of F. So. Well, um, I mean, E heals your team, and Don Hong needed a yeah, bit no, of Yeah, it worked out. Okay, you're weak to me, which means you're getting jumped! Thank you, Himiko. Thank you, Himiko. Very cool. Alright. The jumping worked beautifully. The best thing about this game, the best fucking thing about this game, is that um, that's a formidable foe. You don't have to fight him right now. What if I want to? What if I'm feeling a little silly? Well, you have that much time to decide. Um, but yeah, one of the best things about this game is that there's no stamina when you run on the map. Let's make it quick. Like you can just run the whole time. It's so nice. You won't get away. Uh oh. A 
alternatively, fighting is very meaningful when I've got a fucking... Oh, that does a lot more shield damage, but I can break all their shields with this. There we go. There we go. Shield me so they stop hitting you. Alright, they chose not to hit me. She was targeted. Oh. Oh, yeah. Rip Don Hong. Yeah, but we don't need him. I'm just gonna see. <laughs> just start smacking the shit out of this dude. Let's go. You have so many fucking skill points. Let's make it quick. Time for an overhaul. Let's go. Unfortunate. And Himiko is out. And Kalis is out. Alright, well. When I said you didn't have to do it right now, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, worth a shot. Hup, bonk. His ass was not paying attention. Yeah, bro was off in La La Land. No interest in conflict. So she's the targeted one. Yeah. This should work. Bonk. I have something for you. Yes, go points. Look how many skill points you have. Too late to repent. For your damage dealers, you want to be able to use your skills as often as possible. So you have to find a way to budget those skill points um, when you have, like, in this early game team, you have three damage dealers, so you have to use your skill points but manage them. Like, yeah. you have to decide whose skills take priority. Okay, it's a, it's a whole train, March 7th. You'd be able to see it. Yay, an achievement. Hooray. Wait, March. Huh? Huh? <laughs> she forgot about the dragon. Yeah, it has a name. March, you do not want to attract a random <laughs> a purple dragon. Welcome to your first boss battle. Pray. This. You broke the shield on it. Yeah, that's why I said I immediately broke break the shield on it. Oh, this. I thought you said nearly. I don't know yeah. why I heard nearly. Nah, that's alright. Let's make it quick. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Love the orbital laser. They are 
going crazy on poor March 7th. Never heard of it. No. Uh, we're done. Prioritize the March shield. Yeah, that's what I meant to do, and uh, accidentally fucked up. Let's go. But that's alright. We move. Also, remember uh, when I said you'd want to put icons on your characters? Yeah, probably. Sounds vaguely familiar. Shield. With me out here? Come me for the taunt. Time for an overhaul. You've got a lot of nerve. I've no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. I can just shield everybody. That's delightful. This ult here. Are made to be broken. Mm -hmm. Alright, phase two. Hooray. The pending doom. Good oh lord. Perhaps you still prays out for March and Don Hong. They'll be fine. I can shield March with March. You won't get away. You can't run. Yeah. Ripped on Hung. Shield damage. You can't run. The rules are made to be broken. You won't get away. Let's make it quick. Bonk. Yay, you did it. Hooray. When Dom Hong fucking game. ate it, but... So, UG to Dory quoted. Also, I really have to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna let you watch this by yourself, BRB. Okay. So I'm God? Question mark. I'm seeing God. <laughs> Mr. Yang, is he? They're okay, Mia. Let's talk somewhere else. <laughs> cool. I have 
somehow survived and returned. Hooray! Ah, you're still playing! Yeah, I, f I assumed I was... You said you should keep playing while you were gone, so I, uh, I did. I did the simulated universe for the first time, just chatted with March 7th, and now I'm deciding hey. whether or not I'm getting on the Astral Express. I can't tell if I'm still in the tutorial. Um, I think... I think you're technically out of the tutorial. Oh, you have the mailbox function. Yeah. You have ratio. Yeah. I didn't want oh to look gosh. through all of these because I was like, there might be spoilers in here. But like, Mika sent something. Claim. Yeah. You can just claim everything. Cool. There's a claim all button. Oh, brilliant. But yay, ratio. Hooray. Oh, yeah, there totally is. And start it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Pom pom! You got 20 standard poles that you can use on the uh, guaranteed five star warp. Dr. Ratio. <laughs> That's such a silly name. Silly guy. He'd never admit it, though. Oh boy. Look at him. Yeah, Bruce kind of tripped out. He's got the dogs out, though, for some reason. Oops, I spin him all the way. Okay. He and Humiko are from the same planet. Oh, cool. Uh, there's absolutely nothing implying that, except for the fact that they both have, like, Greek-Roman-inspired designs. You can only put hunt light cones on him. Yeah, I was just looking to see what he had, what the, the options were. I think I got that on Dunham. But I should probably... I don't know. Well, in that case, this feels like a good stopping point. And that's it. The entirety of Honkai Star Wheel's tutorial, and a bit of the simulated universe, too. Honestly, I actually really liked it. At the time of recording this voiceover, I haven't made time to go back yet, but I definitely intend to. Every once in a while, your family reminds you of how long they've known you and how well they know you. Frankly, she read me like a book. I had a lot of fun playing a game she loves, and in turn, it was nice to get to share the video making process with her in some small way. Speaking of which, my sister actually streams Star Rail on Twitch. Her channel is linked in the description and in the pinned comment, and should additionally be on your screen now. My forthcoming work is another Civ stream filed down for you all, and I'll be doing at least one more of those before that playthrough is done. I've been procrastinating on editing that, so I'm sorry to anyone who's been patiently waiting for it. I'll make a stream schedule too at some point. Probably. I also intend to have another Lethal Company with friends out at some point, but I have so much footage backlogged that it'll be a good while before I manage to get that finished. On top of that, I have another totally normal Pokemon run planned for Ultra Sun, and I have something else planned, but depending on how that goes logistically, I may or may not end up actually doing it, so that could end up being a totally different video from what I want. After all of that is finished, the results of the poll I posted currently indicate a Stardew Valley playthrough in our collective future. I've also been playing a ton of Elden Ring recently, so if people want, I can do a playthrough in preparation for or including the DLC release this summer. And of course, if you want to see more of my Star Rail journey, let me know and I'll keep recording my gameplay. If any of that sounds like something you're interested in, I highly recommend you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If you liked this specific video, make sure to leave a like and a comment as well. Liking it lets me know that you want to see more like it, and constructive comments let me know what I can improve on and what you want to see going forward. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.